Army of Two video guide for nextgenwalkthroughs.com. So this is the first mission where you're working as a as an independent mercenary and not part of the army. So you get to choose what guns you want to start off with. And you'll see my pimped out rocket launcher on my back. And you really don't need the rocket launcher for this level because there aren't many helicopters that you need to kill. Except for that one right there. Uh, and right now, I'm controlling the parachute that's flying down. And Explicit D is uh, sniping everybody that he can. And I'm not making it very easy on him because I'm moving around as much as possible because I don't want to get tagged by the rockets that are flying right by. Because this is on the hardest difficulty and it's really easy to get nailed by one of those rockets and just end the mission right away. And as soon as you land you go back to back. And you gotta shoot those suicide bombers quickly because they will fuck you up real quick. But they're really easy to kill because you just have to get one bullet into their chest and they explode. So it's not even really a challenge. Now I'm not doing a very good job of the back to back part right here because I'm spinning all the way around in circles and if you're smart you're gonna stay looking the opposite direction of the guy on your team just so then you can cover all your bases. And this That back-to-back -back section right there really sucks ass because pretty much every time you do it, you get killed right away. But the nice part about it is it gives you a really good checkpoint. So then after you die, it's really easy to get uh, through this next area. So if you die immediately after the back-to-back, -back, you're gonna get you're gonna get through the next area just fine. Uh, the gun that I'm using right now is the AUG, the AUG, uh, fully upgraded with the shield. And uh, if you're playing through the game the first time, you're not going to be able to get that gun, obviously. But when you play through it the second time, you get to keep all the money and all the guns that you earned from playing through it already. So my guy has some pretty good shit. Damn, I dropped that guy. My, my favorite gun is definitely the AUG. Um, I also use the P90 with the silencer for my secondary gun. Uh, just because it works really well if, um, if my partner decides to go aggro and draw all the attention, then I can flank around and shoot them without drawing much attention to myself. And the AUG is really good too because because it's really accurate and does a lot of damage and you can usually kill people with one headshot. So you get to this area and you hear this weird beeping noise and that is C4. That's I think it's C4, but it, it's motion or it's motion triggered. So if you walk past it and you get too close to it, it'll explode and probably kill you right away. Or at least knock you on your ass so then your teammate has to revive you. So you'll, you'll notice that turret right at the top of the hill. Um, but there's... You can go around him and flank him. But there's also a couple guys over here, so... But they're all pretty easy to kill. Now that I've gone aggro, I think Explicit D is uh, running up on that turret because he's completely invisible. And I can hear a second little uh, trip mine beeping, so just press select and that turns on the threat detection vision. And Explicit D wired the the missile to get destroyed. Bam, there it goes. And that is the end of this video. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Over. Rios, Salem, you copy? I hear you, boss. 
I've lost signal from the cameras. So you guys are on your own. Copy that. We'll be fine. Miss Universe on TV. Yash, that's so halwe, Miss Universe. Ah, dear halwe, dear, dear. Hey, hey, buddy. I'll help you up. 